Hey, everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios and brought to you by our official sponsor, the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author, and Mia Molson's The Missing, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. She's been a popular guest and backed by popular demand. I think I've lost count after a while. She's a founder of Complete Herbal Guide, an entrepreneur, speaker, author, coach, and host of The Advisor, and over 20 best selling books and keeps growing and growing. She's got a brand new one out and talk about that. And also received word that uh, she was named one of the uh, top 10 entrepreneurs in uh, 23 at Apple News. And uh, she's been a guest on Dr. Oz five times, worked with personally with uh, Ariana Huffington, worked for NBC, Dateline, News 4, and The Morning Show. And she's got um, a, a new um, book out called Empower Yourself, Don't Let uh, Conditions Empower You, and also Unleashing Your Potential. And that's something we need right now. Live, ladies and gentlemen, from Plus Studios in beautiful downtown New Jersey, in the home of the uh, studios, the founder of Complete Herbal Guide, and also the uh, podcast as well, too, Unleashing Your Potential. How do we do it? We'll find out with the amazing Stacey Chalemi, back by Pot Demand. Stacey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us once again. Oh, thank you so much, Mike, for having me. It's always a pleasure. It's always great to have you as well, too. So you, so for those who uh, have forgotten, you're the founder of Complete Herbal Guide, entrepreneur, speaker, author, coach, and host of The Advisor with Stacey Chalemi. You have over 20 best-selling books published and um, chosen as one of the top 10 entrepreneurs in 23 at Apple News. And that's a big hand as well, too. So we got all that. You've been a guest on Dr. Oz five times. And um, by, by the way, um, is, is that the most uh, for Dr. Oz or has been more than, I mean, seven, nine, 12 or something? Or, or, or do you hold the record? <laughs> I was on Dr. Oz about five or six times. And then, you know, I, I've done numerous talk shows, radio shows, podcasts. Uh, and uh, I've been in recently, I was in um, the Insider, Insider um, News. And then I was in um, Yahoo News. And we hit like 7 million views. Uh, nice. I, with the, one of the articles of one of the interviews, actually, that someone did on me. Mm -hmm. And it's certainly indeed as well too. 20 best selling books. And I'm, and I'm trying to recall which book we talked about. There's probably a list, but you got a brand new book, um, empower yourself. Don't let conditions empower you. And, um, you know, talk about it as well too. And, um, also if there's any updates you can uh, mention as well. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, yeah, during COVID, uh, you know, I really, it was, I was home. Everybody was home. We were locked in our houses and, you know, life had changed completely. You know, we went from one extremity to the next extremity. You know, we were, we were in our homes. We didn't have freedom like we did. People were going into depression. Uh, it was a lifestyle change. And even now people are still trying to adjust because so many things have changed since after COVID. And, you know, we have to really look, you know, a lot of people afterwards, especially, you know, felt stuck. They, they weren't, you know, people lost their jobs, company, you know, you, you see left and right, you see companies just going downhill, closing and, you know, and people are mostly buying online. People have been changing, everything's changing. And a lot of people feel stuck. And a lot of people don't, you know, they feel like they're dragging their feet every day. They're looking for jobs. They're grabbing anything. And, you know, they're waking up and they just are not happy with the person they see. And a lot of times, you know, it's very hard to go through life, you know, like that. We shouldn't have to. And, you know, we all have the power within us to become the person that we want to become. You know, we can help you know, ourselves by overcoming the obstacles that we have in life and being able to rise above the chaos, gain courage, gain that self-esteem back and be able to move forward so we could be our ideal self, our true self, the person that we were meant to be. And, you know, everybody, you know, it, it's hard. And I think the first thing we need to do is really dive down into ourselves. You know, we really need to look at who we are as a person we need to, and we, you know, I tell people, make a list, look at, make a list of who you are today. Be honest with yourself. Nobody's looking at that piece of paper. Who, who do you feel like? What characteristics do you feel like you have? What are your emotions? How do you feel about yourself? And then take another piece of paper, maybe in a journal and write down the person you really like to be that true person, that ideal self. And then we have to, you know, you our minds weren't built to have to collect all this information. We get overwhelmed as human beings. So we really need to create a strategic plan. If something's going to work, we have to plan it out so that we look at those two pieces of paper and we look at where we are and where we want to be. And we have to start creating some short-term goals and some long-term goals. Mm -hmm. And we can't 
you know, Rome was not built in a day, you know, right. it's baby steps. It's baby steps. And that's what we need to keep in mind. So we start creating some short-term goals and some long-term goals. And then we start, you know, each time that we actually achieve a goal, give yourself a pat on the back. It doesn't have to be a big goal. Yeah. Give yourself a pat on the back. <laughs> you know, it doesn't have to be like a, something big. It could be anything, you know, and feel good about yourself. You know, you everybody is a beautiful person. And I think the biggest thing in society is that we compare ourselves to others. Do not compare yourself to people. You are your own person. And don't listen to what other people say. Don't listen to what you took, your family members say. Don't listen to what your friends say. Don't listen to what strangers say. What matters is what you think and how you feel about yourself. And that's what you have to focus on. And it's you looking in that mirror and saying, I like who I see. And if you look in that mirror and you're not that happy with that person, then we need to do a little work. And we all can get there. It just, it's a, it's a process. And we just have to, you know, take little baby steps. And the one thing I love is meditation. I say, clear your mind in the morning. Take 15 minutes just to clear your mind. Because, some, you know, a lot of people suffer from insomnia in, in our society because we're always thinking. We're, we're thinking about what we just did, what we did wrong, what we should do, what we have to do next. What's tomorrow like? What do I have to get done? What didn't I do? You know, and all these things you baffle in your head. How do you get a good night's sleep? We're always on the phone. We're always on the computer. We're always, you know, we we overload our brain. We have to cleanse that brain. We have to let everything out and renew ourselves. And that's what meditation is great for. It's taking time out in a quiet room, light a candle maybe with a nice scent that's relaxing, or just put some soft music on, or just have just total quietness. Close your eyes. I say, do some deep breaths. In, in, you breathe in, breathe in the good air, breathe out the bad air in, and you just keep relaxing. And uh, there is a lot of techniques about breathing and slowing your breathing down. And in the slower you can breathe in and out and the bigger the breaths, the more relaxed you become. And then start thinking about positive things and thinking about things that you're grateful for. Because I think one of the biggest things in life is that we take things for granted. We take things for granted until those things are taken away from us. And then we realize how precious they are. And the funniest thing is, is usually it's the littlest things in life that matter so much. And we don't realize that until they're gone. So, you know, have gratitude when you walk outside and you see the beautiful trees or the birds flying in the air, or you're able to just, it's a beautiful day. Have gratitude for that. Have gratitude for the person you love or your friend that's always there for you. And sometimes it's good to just share a little gratitude with people. Say something kind to somebody. And you know you don't expect anything back, but I'll guarantee you, if you say something nice to someone or compliment someone, you'll see their face glow. You'll make their day. You, their whole day might be made just by that little comment that you made. And mm. it's, it's a process. And every time you accomplish those goals that we talked about previously, you're going to feel better and better and better about yourself. Your self-esteem is going to get higher. You're going to feel better and you're going to actually start moving forward and you're going to see changes go on and it's going to get you to that true ideal self that you want to become that ideal person. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's really important as well, too. And of course, that's also in the book, Empower Yourself, Don't Let Conditions Empower You. And of course, I also thought a couple of things that you um you took two sheets of paper, you know, write the good, you know, what's good about yourself, what's wrong and everything. And um, you also recommend the uh, Ben Franklin as well, too. It's like you sit down and you like um, the benefits of this and uh, so um, the pros and cons and everything. Yeah, you know, we have to, you know, we, we have to look at the pros and cons. And when we, you know, sometimes we, I, I say to people what, what you know, first, the, the main thing is we have to, we have to realize that the past is the past. We cannot change the past. And the reason why I'm saying that besides, you know, not to get off the co the comment of pros and cons, but, you know, the, fir the first thing I see people do that they can't move forward is that they fall into that, that past where you know, the past should be a learning experience we can't change the past so the mistakes we make in the past is is gone we should take draw positiveness out of those things you know our past makes us stronger 
it, we're, it's a learning, it gives us wisdom and it gives us knowledge so we can move forward. We take our mistakes and we use them as a learning experience so we become better as a person. And a lot of people worry about the future. We don't know what the future is gonna bring. If you start worrying about things that haven't even happened yet, you know, you're gonna get so stressed out. 70% of illnesses are caused by stress. Mm -hmm. Why are you going to worry about something that you don't even know is going to actually happen? And you don't know if it's going to be big or small. You're assuming you're creating this anxiety in your head. You're creating pa panic attacks. You're creating nervousness and stress that could lead to illness because the more stress you are, your walls of your, of your immune system start to break down and then illness, it makes it easier for illness to come in and strike. So it's really up to us to learn how to live in the now. The, and in that now, we start to focus on the pros and the cons. What do I need to do? What, you know, what are the pros if I change myself and become a better person? And then what are the cons? If I stay stagnant and I, I live the life that I'm leading right now, you know, what is going to happen? Am I going to live the rest of my life being unhappy? Am I going to not get where I want to be? You know, am I going to fall into depression or am I going to get a mental illness because of this? You know, yeah, yeah. And but the positive thing is that we can change. We all have the ability to change. The problem is a lot of people are scared of change because one, they're afraid they're going to fail. And the second is that they don't know what to expect. I might not like this person once I, I become this person. What happens if I like the way I was before? You know, and, and that stops people, but you know what, you have to face change, but change is a good thing. And, you know, change makes us better, you know? And so that's something to take into mind also. Mm -hmm. And very important as well too. And of course, uh, you'll also get a positive positivity and gratitude journal. And that's something that really helps too. That's part of your collection. Yes, I have a, a, a positivity and gratitude journal and I created that journal. So people, you know, it's a fun journal. It's uh, I think I have. Yeah, I have yeah it it's, right here. It, it's right there in the uh, in it was at the uh, the middle. Right. I think of the, the old Hollywood squares. It's like, you know, I have like the middle, the center and everything yeah, like that. It's so like, it's really fun. I don't know if you could see it, but I make it nice and fun and big for people so they can make notes. They could write. There's little questions that are happy faces, sad faces, and it really helps you like organize your thoughts. And, and the, the greatest thing about journals, you know, is that we we come to revelations when we start to journal. So a lot of times if, if you do it in a quiet room by yourself or if you do it in just a you know a room where there's no distraction, a lot of times after you cleanse your mind and you 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 know if you meditate and then you start to journal, it's great because your mind is open and the universe is right there and you just feel your intuition become stronger and just the thoughts start flowing through your head. And that's when you start to journal. And that's when you come to revelations that you didn't even realize. And the light bulb comes up. And then you realize, hey, you know, I got to do this. Hey, you know, this is my purpose in life. Hey, you know, I re really, you know, should be doing X, Y, and Z. And, 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 it, and journaling helps also because it gets those repressed emotions out. A lot of times we have so many repressed emotions that we don't share with other people because we're embarrassed mm -hmm. and we don't want other people to judge us. So we keep them inside. But what happens when you keep them inside is that they, they just go down and down and down and they build up and then eventually you just explode or you become emotionless and you don't even know what you feel. It's like going down a highway and there's six lanes and all of them have a, an area that where you can turn off and you just don't know which lane to go in. You know, the signs aren't there. You're confused and you're, you feel lost. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, going down the rabbit hole, too, as well. That's been a big uh, phenomenon as well, too. And um, it's been a big discussion, rabbit holes and everything like that. Yeah, you know, and I think it's really important for people, you know, uh, to really, you know, open up about how they feel and to express, you know, their emotions. And that's why I, I love coaching because, you know, people can, you, sh you know, confide in you and talk to you and, and you can listen to them and you can create a personalized plan to help them and help them get in touch with their emotions. And then, you know, once they get in touch with their emotions, show them a direction and, and, and a guide and give them, help them make that strategic plan so they can grow and become their ideal person, that, that true person that they want to be.
Mm -hmm. And of course, he, of course, we got the book Empower Yourself, Don't Let Conditions and Party with Stacey Chalemi here on the Mike Wagner Show. Also, Unleash a Potential. And of course, you know, I guess the number one concern that kind of comes up, it's like, you know, how would you get to somebody to empower themselves with uh, PTSD? That's been the number one thing. You know, people talk about PTSD all the time. That's been number one. And uh, a lot of people have talked about it on your podcast, other podcasts, and especially on mine. It's like, that's a hot topic. It's a very hot topic and people get it for all different reasons. Military officers get it from being in the military and being exposed on tours and seeing the traumatic events. People get it from just being exposed to any traumatic event. And then a lot of people got it after COVID, just being locked in their house. Uh, they they were traumatized, not being able to go out, not see, getting the freedom, you know, and because, you know, when you go, you're in your house, even though it's your house, after a while, you kind of feel imprisoned in your house and nobody likes to feel imprisoned. And that caused a lot of people to get post-traumatic stress disorder. And, you know, the, the one thing you have to learn is, is one, you can't be in denial. If you see a lot of times I've worked with clients that had post-traumatic stress disorder and they didn't even know they had it. You know, family members were pointing it out to them. They were just so used to that behavior that they didn't even realize that they were, they were, they were doing it. They just had their explosions. They had their mood changes. They were getting angry and snapping at people. And they just, it, it, it didn't catch on. They, they were just, it was there when you're so emotional and overwhelmed, you just don't realize it until someday somebody comes to you and says, you know, I'm hurt. You're either, you're hurt, you're hurting the people around you you know, or it, you're, you're causing so much disruption that people don't want to be around you. And, you know, for, for a lot of people, you know, you can't be in denial and you have to accept, you know, there's something going on with me. And you know, and that's when you, when you have to really learn to accept it and acceptance is not, you know um, it's, it's learning that, you know, it, that you have an issue, you have a problem and you're, be, you're able to recognize that problem and, and understand that it's a part of you, but you can change it and you can improve it, but you have to accept that it's in your life at this moment. And then learn how to basically love yourself. And by loving yourself and giving yourself self-love, you need to care about yourself enough where you take action to, you know, to do something about that condition to mm -hmm. improve yourself. Mm -hmm. And especially in your book, uh, Keep the Faith as well, too. That's the most important. I think that's one book we haven't covered yet, Keep the Faith. Yeah, I wrote a I wrote a poetry book on Keep the Faith. And, you know, it was a, it was a book that I wrote um, uh quite a while ago and it was basically you know it had a lot of um of uh spiritual and religious poems in it and basically you know everyone has their own beliefs and it's basically go into your higher power that you know everyone has their own you know um view of christianity or being jewish or buddhism or whatever you know they consider you know that their faith to be and being able to go to that higher power and being able to really give yourself to the higher power because something if you ever realize when we're in a time of need you know, we always looked, you know, God, please help me, you know, right, or, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, and it's, uh, you know, and it's, you know, I, I had a lot of spiritual um, kind of revelations at that time, because I was going through a lot in my life. And if it wasn't for spirituality, if it wasn't for my own religion, if it wasn't for the people around me who helped, uh, helped me when I needed, you know, um, and I believe everything happens for a reason. You know, I'm one of those people who believe that we all have a journey and we all have a pathway. Can we change that path? Of course we can. But I believe that, you know, everything happens for a reason. And we, you know, and uh, everything that happened for, for to me, you know, not always was good, but it, it, it made me change and become a stronger person, a better person. And it also made me look at people differently and see people, you know, through the inside, you know, and not through the outside, being able to kind of look through a person through their eyes and being able to see the beauty within. Mm -hmm. And very indeed as well, too. And of course, uh, Stacey Chalemi of the Complete Herbal Guide. We're getting up there now along with the podcast. First, you listen to the Mike Wagner Show at the MikeWagnerShow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at SonicWebStudios.com for all you need. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs at below the competition way. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at SonicWebStudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. 
Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor, the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author, Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews in Eve 11 and George by Howard's celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, and Minims. So grab your copy today for calls Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com or for 40 podcast platforms. Heard in 100 countries, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio. Also on Odyssey, BitChute, Rumble, YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. Also on Pandora, Buzzsprout, Pondbean, TuneIn, and more. Make sure you take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Also, follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, threads, and more. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com. Check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. T-shirts, pop sockets, throw pillows, tote bags, hoodies. Makes great gifts 24-7. Go to Amazon.com, check out the Mike Widener Show podcast, and for more great gift ideas like missing ones and wrinkles, but t-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, phone cases, and more. By the way, Christmas is coming up. Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia. Check it out today and support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, and the Mike Widener Show.com. We're here with the founder of the Complete, Complete Herbal Guide, entrepreneur, speaker, author, coach, and host of the uh, advisor with Stacey Chalemi on the Mike Widener Show. Oh, and speaking of podcasts, and um, uh, g- give us an update on the uh, your latest as well, too, and uh, who have you been on, and uh, updates on that. Yeah, the podcast is doing great. We had, um, it kind of exploded. I didn't realize how popular it was going to be. We started our podcast almost about a year ago. And then within three, I guess it was like three months, we had booked over over a year, year's worth podcast, you know, and uh, we have people consistently signing up to be on it. We have mostly a lot of doctors, a lot of coaches, a lot of experts in the field of health that they come on to talk about numerous topics. We do self-help. We do um, alternative medicine. We do um, we do uh, health and fitness. Uh, we do we do relationships, and we do we we hit a lot of topics. We go you know anything that has to do with health and wellness, and and people are actually very interested about talking about business. So we opened up a a, a fifth show because we have like an umbrella of shows. So what I did was is I separated all the shows because it was so many shows that I was doing that I didn't want to just have a whole line full of it. I wanted to be organized. So mm-hmm. anyone that wants self-help goes to the self-help show. Anyone that wants to hear about health and wellness, you know, and fitness goes to the health area. Every, people who want to speak, listen about spirituality, we have spiritualists that come on to talk about spirituality, spirituality and they go on to the spirituality show. And then we have the um, the alternative medicine, and then we put a business show on, and people were coming on, business experts and and advisors, and they were talking about different topics about how to um, grow your business and about scaling and about a whole bunch of different things, and it was it was great. It's it's been it's been thriving. I have to say, it, it, you know, we've we've uh, our metrics keep going up. So it, it's called the Advisor with Stacy Chalemi, and you can find it on on it's on Speaker. And it's on all the different podcasts, including Apple. It's on Amazon, all over the place. Spotify, you'll find all the uh, the shows. You just type in uh, The Advisor with Stacey Chalemi. Mm, and that's certainly interesting as well, too. And, of course, you had um, the one podcast. It explored the many. It's not just talk about um, health, self-help wellness how to peer fair drinking water you also have uh how to buy a home using a va loan and also um beginning tips for horse training it's like you know oh my gosh it's like you know how did that come up it's like that's interesting beginning beginner tips for horse training i like that one yeah that you know my daughter um you know when she was younger she loved horses and then she she was taking lessons and i really i really liked it and i did a lot of interviews and and spoke to spoke to horse trainers and and people who are in in the industry and uh i had written a book on it and that book actually to this day you know i wrote that book like probably 20 years ago and it still sells like crazy it really does really well you know because the the information is is really beneficial and and it's you know anyone who's interested in in horses and loves horse riding should check that book out it's really good and and what's some of the best advice you you give uh for those who want to own a horse horse train or anything like that maybe some uh some crucial tips from the simple to like you know like say hey i didn't think of that 
<laughs> well, it's a lot of work and a lot of money to own a horse. So, you know, we have a lot of horse farms by us. And, uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's a big job taking care of those horses. And uh, it's a lot of work. But, you know, if you're into horse riding, and you have a passion and a love for horses, there are lots of places where you can go for lessons. And, you know, if you want to, you know, evolve later on and go further, you know, there's lots of different areas that you can go in. But, you know, for for people who just want to learn how to horse ride and they want to learn from just, you know, from from just regular riding to galloping to actually riding a horse and then kind of spreeing down the acreage, you know, um, it, it talks about all those things. And it talks about, you know, gives tips about being an Aquarian and, and, and being able to, you know, be, uh, you know, to to learn, you know, uh, the uh, the whole thing about the love of horses and, and how to how to ride horses and and the process of it and everything that goes and, with and, it because and what's your favorite uh horse horse breed um you know I, I really don't have like a favorite horse breed I, I i i love them all actually i uh you know horses uh they're to me they're all so beautiful i, I you know i really i really love horses and you know i'm lucky because we we live in an area where there are a lot of horse farms so you know it's uh it's nice just to see them even like when i'm driving by sometimes just to see them running in the fields together they they go in packs and you know it's it's really it's really beautiful Mm -hmm. certainly is too and of course you got the complete herbal guide as well too and uh give us an update on that one the complete herbal guide is it took me about five or six years i was uh you know i was working with an herbalist many moons ago and and he had me do a lot of research and writing on on different ways of um of uh using holistic living and using herbs and you know what they do and i started i started looking at all this and i was going through a rough patch because at that point my i had uh, epilepsy and my seizures weren't controlled at that point. And I started, you know, looking at and doing all this research. And I said, wow, a lot of this stuff could could help me. And I started applying a lot of these things to my life. And I started changing my life holistically. And I started applying what I was researching and learning. And my seizures went from 12, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 to none. And that inspired me to, to keep researching and, and keep writing. And it took me about five or six years and I wrote the Complete Herbal Guide. And it talks about all different types of different herbs and supplements. It talks about the precautions. It talks about what they do. Um, you know, it talk, I talk about different conditions and what types of different supplements are good for certain conditions. So it, it, it goes really into detail. It's like you're a cyclopedia of supplements and herbs and learn about holistic living and and really understand it. And people have to realize too, that, you know, uh, all these herbs and supplements, you know, it's like medicine, you know, people think it's a supplement. Oh, it's, I could take it, but it's actually, they use a lot of supplements in the pharmaceuticals and they mix it with their, when they're making medicines, because that's how powerful they are. You know, they're, it's, you know, supplements are, you know, we've had it for tens of thousands of years and people have used it as a source of medicine. And, you know, so people with like conditions, like a heart condition, high cholesterol, have, you know, suffer from depression and are on medications for depression, any types of, you know, epilepsy medications, you have to make sure that your medication is not going to interact because there are lots of medications that will interact with certain medications, certain supplements. So it's always good to confirm with your doctor before you try a supplement if you have a medical condition. And also, you know, you have to also look at what you're buying. A lot of people today, I talk to so many people and it's so surprising, but people just grab a supplement or they hear about a supplement you know, on TV or an in info commercial, and they think it's the greatest thing on the mm -hmm. earth. But you have to look at the ingredients in the back, because a lot of times a lot of these marketers, you know, they, they kind of tease you with their wording, and they give you a misconception of what it really is. Like a lot of times you'll let's say you buy biotin, and they'll put a lot of fillers, and they'll put a lot of different other vitamins that are cheap in in the biotin. And then you'll see that you're not getting a lot of biotin, you're getting all these other things. And I always say, if you can't pronounce it, it's not good for you. You know, and you have to be very careful, you know, so you have to really, you know, when you're buying something, you have to really understand what you're buying before you buy it. And of course, you mentioned about the things like with heart stress and epilepsy and also um, similar conditions, I guess people ask, like, what are some of the good supplements uh, for heart? 
the ovals for for heart you know um i actually like collagen i think co collagen is great people don't realize but i think it's like 94 percent of your heart is made of collagen and as we get older our collagen starts to decrease with age and you know it's really good to um take collagen especially as we get older but you know as soon as you're in your 20s you should start taking collagen you know as you get in your late 20s because we start to our skin starts to dry wrinkles start to occur and like I said most of your body is made out of collagen and the more collagen you have the better for your body Boswell is also very good for your your heart health as well mm -hmm. and how about for stress for stress I would there's lots of things you can do for stress for a stress uh, lavender is very nice um, there is a, uh, for, um, a supplement called passion flower and it's kind of like a natural Xanax. I, I actually it's, um, and you can take that, you know, um, you, you have to be careful when you take it, you know, because it's also different concentrations. You'll notice that liquid, the oral form is, is stronger than the tablet form because you're, you're getting a more concentrated form in the, in the liquid form, but you know, it may not taste as great, but it'll be strong. And if you take too much, you're going to get very tired. And again, and you don't want to mix that with if you're taking a, a medical drug and it's a sedative, you know, you don't want to mix that with that because then it's going to make you feel like a zombie. You'll feel like a walking zombie. And it could be also it could be deathly in some cases, you know, a, a mixing a sedative with a sedative could actually, you know, cause cause death. So you have to be careful for that. And then also CBD is great also for um, for stress, you know, it's very, it's a, it's a, it's very common, but a lot of people like gummies cause they don't like to take pills, but gummies, they don't realize, but a lot of it's sprinkled on the top, the CBD. So you're not really getting a strong concentrated form of CBD gum in the gummies where you'll get it more in the tablet form or the oral form. Oral form is probably the best is when you just put it down mm -hmm. underneath the tongue real quickly down your throat. But also, again, like for, I'll give you an example, CBD with an epilepsy medication um, lowers the potency of the medication. So you're more susceptible to have a seizure if you take CBD with an epilepsy drug. Oh. So, you know, so it's, you have to be careful. If, like, again, if you're taking medications, make sure that the drug, the, the natural drug, the you know, supplement is not going to interfere with the medication you're taking, because some of these things will change the chemistry of the medication you're taking, and it won't be as effective. Mm -hmm. And also for like, you know, skin rashes, irritations, poison IV. So I'm just trying to think of a few like you can do herbally as well, too, instead of um, by medicine or even like you have your pain, your shoulder. It's like you lift it off like, oh, God, 100 pounds and uh, you lift the mm -hmm. wrong way. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean we, a lot of us have that or you just like bend the wrong way and you realize, oh, crap, I just hurt myself. The CBD topical cream is really good for, for that. And then for, for the rashes, oatmeal is actually, they have, they make oatmeal creams, you know, creams that have oatmeal in it. And it's actually very soothing and it does help the rashes. Okay. All right. That's really good as well too. And uh, also just a, a couple more things as well. Stacey, uh, what, what can we expect in 2023 and beyond? Uh, do you have any upcoming books you want to discuss? Right now, I'm focusing on my um, speaking career. I've been I've been touring nationwide. I've been doing a lot of speaking uh, engagements, talking about how to overcome obstacles, to r rise above the chaos, to bec become more um, stronger, and be become your tr true potential self. But basically, you're just teaching people how to overcome their obstacles to become their ideal person that they want to become. And I've been speaking at companies and I've been speaking, you know, to people in, um, in regular, uh, you know, different facilities, organizations, associations. And I, you know, I work with even I, I, I've worked with elders and helping them, you know, I've done, I've done speaking performances, you know, where I, I talk about, you know, overcoming obstacles when you, you're dealing with conditions and not letting those, those conditions overcome you. And, you know, so I've been very busy with speaking. I love to speak. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm very passionate with my speaking, you know, because I, I believe so much because I've lived it, I've done it, and now I want to give back and help people. And I do a lot of coaching also. I teach people how to, you know, to really to get, overcome their obstacles in life so they can become their ideal self and to become, you know, and to learn how to really love yourself as a person. And, and, you know, also like when I speak with companies, you know, a lot of people don't realize, but if you're going to reach your true potential, because that's the goal, we want to reach our true potential in order to, if you're, if you're having stress at home, 
you bring that stress to work and then you can't perform. You can't be that ideal person at work. And if you have stress at work, when you come home, you're not going to be that ideal person, you know, to either your family and the people that you care about because you're just too stressed out. So there has to be a balance. And I, I teach people how to get that balance. And so that, those are some of the things that I, I do is basically teaching people how to overcome obstacles to become their true potential so they can live a life happy at home, you know, because a lot of people say, well, what does that mean? So, you know, so you can, you can live happy and you can be, have success and you, it, that goes with relationships and that goes, you know, with just, um, you know, even if weight loss, health, everything, you name it, you know, we have to have a balance. We have to learn how to, you know, there's a true potential in all of us and we all want to be that ideal self. And I teach them how to recognize their true potential and how to become their ideal self. Mm -hmm. And so I've been doing a lot of coaching and speaking, and that's what I'll be doing a lot of in, in 2024. Mm -hmm. And how, and how do people get a hold of you? So what you could do is you can go on the stacychalemi.com website, and that has all my information. There is a link to go to my speaking website, and there is a link to go to my coaching website. And I have my podcast information on there and I have basically everything on there. So if you go to stacychalemi.com, you can find everything, including my books, my recent books that I wrote, which was the Empower Yourself, Don't Let Your Conditions Empower You and the Positivity and Gratitude Journal and the revised copy that I wrote of Epilepsy, You're Not Alone. Mm -hmm. and, and that's very important as well, too. Once again, we're Stacey Chalemi, founder of the Complete Herbal Guide and also the advisor of Stacey Chalemi and over 20 best-selling books and more here on the Mike Wagner Show. Stacey, it's always great to have you on. A big thank you for your time. Looking forward to having you again soon. Uh, Keep us up to date. Keep in touch. And once again, what's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people purchase or check out your books? So I have all my books on Amazon. I like I like Amazon because, you know, I, I find that their prices that they sell my books for are very reasonable compared mm -hmm. to a lot of places. So I would say if you're looking to get one of my books, go to Amazon. They're all there. And, you know, go to stacychalemi.com. I even have my, the Complete Herbal Guide blog is uh, linked on that website. So my blog has over a couple of thousand articles on all different health issues. And you can find that on stacychalemi.com as well. And you can always contact me on Stacy at stacychalemi.com. And if you have any questions, you know, feel free to email me and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have. And you could always go on Candidly. There's links where you could set up a uh, meeting one-on-one -on -one with me if you're interested in my coaching or if you're interested in having me as a speaker. We will certainly do that. Once again, Stacey, a very big thank you for your time. You're always amazing. Looking forward to having you soon. Keep us up to date. Keep in touch. Laugh at back. Wish all best. And Stacey, you definitely have a great future. Have you? You're welcome to come back anytime. Thank you, Mike. It's been a pleasure, like always. I love you.